It's a beautiful morning in India. A young mother lights a fire in a mud stove to prepare breakfast for her family. All around the world, women are doing the same. Every day, nearly three billion people eat food cooked on stoves that are made by hand with no modern materials. These stoves emit harmful smoke, which gets trapped inside homes. Exposure to household smoke kills more than four million people every year. Traditional cook stoves also give off black carbon, which we see in the air as soot. Black carbon emissions are the second largest contributor to global climate change. In India, women make traditional cook stoves out of mud. Women and girls must collect wood frequently from surrounding areas to fuel the mud stoves. They often walk long distances to carry wood back to their homes. Many efforts have been undertaken to manufacture and distribute clean cookstoves, which are much more efficient, emit less black carbon and smoke, and are safer to use. But how can a woman afford to pay for a clean cook stove when her family lives on less than $2 a day? Nextleaf Analytics is a nonprofit technology company based in the United States. With support from Qualcomm Wireless Reach, Nextleaf, along with partners from University of California, San Diego, and the Energy and Resources Institute, created an innovative solution called sensor-enabled climate financing. This method helps women afford clean cook stoves by combining cutting-edge climate science, mobile payment apps, and Stove Trace, a stove monitoring technology created by Nextleaf. Each woman selected for this program receives a clean cook stove from a stove distributor NGO, financed with a micro loan. Then, as she uses the clean cook stove instead of her polluting mud stove, she is rewarded for her climate stewardship. The NGO uses Stove Trace to monitor her usage of the clean cook stove, and she receives cash payments through a mobile money application direct to her cell phone for her reductions in emissions. With these climate credit payments, she is able to repay her loan and she also earns money for herself. In this meeting, I see a glimmer of hope that we can finally design something which they want, not to cut the pollution, not for engineering efficient. They all have to be there. But our first design objective has to be making a stove which will make the woman's life comfortable. Nextleaf's partner NGOs, Sambhav and Santa Gantha Foundation, brought this program to two villages in Orissa, India. They conducted trainings with the women on how to use their new stoves, and they explained how the women would receive payments via a mobile app based on their clean stove usage. <laughs> These payments are a point of entry for financial inclusion and the empowerment that comes with managing her own money. So we're not just giving a one-off approach. We are working to build an ecosystem that will support these women in the field, on the ground, so that it's not just about dropping an improved cook stove in their house, but it's really about follow-through and really an investment in them as much as they're investing in the climate. While economic empowerment is one clear benefit, women also report improvements to their health and their lifestyles from using clean cook stoves. Sorry, 
Wood is precious, so women are not motivated to burn wood in their clean cook stoves just to collect payments. In case there is a breakdown of the clean cook stove, the families, they revert to the traditional cooking. So here, you actually know that uh, there's been a breakdown because the family has stopped using it, and you can then, uh, you know, go proactively repair the clean cook stove. Often, when a household stops cooking, it's because their clean cook stove is broken. That's why NextLeaf partners with NGOs who can train energy entrepreneurs to service the clean cook stoves. With tablets from Qualcomm, the entrepreneurs are now empowered to use the StoveTrace data dashboard to monitor each household's clean cooking. Both the entrepreneur and the individual cook stove user earn climate credits, creating a new economy in support of clean cooking. Thanks to NGO and entrepreneur support on the ground, data-driven support, and mobile payments, the StoveTrace dashboard has shown a nearly 100% rate of clean cook stove usage in new households over the past five months. While this evidence is promising, StoveTrace still needs support to serve clean cook stove implementers around the world. Funding to reward women for their clean cook stove usage comes from generous individuals and organizations like Qualcomm Wireless Reach, concerned with global public health and climate change. Climate change is caused by the wealthiest one billion. They are the, the richest in the world are the ones polluting. When we get droughts and floods, which I'm predicting will become more severe in another 15, 20 years, these women, children, they're going to be wiped out because they are all subsistence farmers. So taking credits from the wealthy who are polluting and giving it to the poorest, in a sense, would do some justice to this injustice. Nextleaf and its partners see a future where no child has to live in a smoke-filled home, where new technologies are constantly reimagined to benefit the poorest three billion people on Earth, and where everyone's skies are clearer. To learn more about Nextleaf and find out how to support our work, visit nextleaf.org.